Hi guys, so today I'm going to be hopefully making two different things. I'm going to be making uh, jalapeno jelly, doo -doo -doo. jalapeno jelly, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and also be making another batch of soap. Um, the video that is on my YouTube right now is a tomato soap made with um, tomato juice instead of water. And so today I'm going to be making um, soap that is made with oils that have been infused with oranges. And then also um, I'm going to be mixing ground orange peel into it um, as kind of like a really rough exfoliant. So this, um, this soap that I'm making today is meant for people who um, like to work out in the garden or um, like mechanics. Um, basically it's going to be a really, really exfoliating really exfoliating soap. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, but first I am doing the dreaded dishes. So this is my project before I, before I can do anything else I have to, I have to wash up. Nadia has decided she wants to have playtime instead of me letting, letting me do all the stuff we have to do today. Can you say cheese? No, you don't even know what cheese is. Mm. Oh, right now I am cutting the jalapenos for the jalapeno jelly. And I am wearing gloves because last time I, well, it wasn't last time, but one of the recent times I um, dealt with jalapenos, I ended up having to go to the urgent care to get a um, medication to stop the burning in my hands. So that's what I'm doing now, just seeding them, and I've got a container here for the seeds, and inside I've got a little bowl of water to kind of rinse the seeds off my fingers so that none end up going in the, oh, in the final bowl. And so that's what I'm doing. And Nadia is down here next to me, talking to me. She's not right next to me. She's on the side of the kitchen so that she doesn't get any you know, residue on here. Looks like I'm getting some seeds in the final batch and I'll strain them out anyways. And so then what I'm going to do after I get those all chopped and de-seeded, they are going in the food processor so that they can little tiny bits um, for the jelly. My puree is not yet puree, but I am just scraping down the sides. I'm gonna process this a whole bunch more. Uh, this is a mixture of my peppers and apple cider vinegar. Oh, come on. Get in there. There we go. Gonna put that in again. We are pure. <laughs> jelly to heat up and get that ready to make and such. I am washing Scarlett's brushes from yesterday. Scarlett um, didn't do it herself. Um, can I please have the mat now? When they dry. The posted one up. <laughs> yep, so got a couple more to wash out and then we'll... You got two more. Mm-hmm. Hey. 
Can I just say how much I hate recipes that say I have to stir constantly for any amount of time more than one minute. This one said 10 minutes. So here we are. Okay, so I'm working on getting these ready for water processing, but I had to use a, that one, is a uh, pint jar instead of a half pint jar, so it's taller. So the water barely covers it. It does cover it, but it barely. So I am currently using my electric tea kettle to boil some more water quickly to throw on top of here before I put the lid on and start my timer. Maddie has a box. She loves this box most of the time. She is now trying to eat the box. Just kidding, the box happiness didn't last long. All I need to do is attach this part. We are sitting here waiting for the jelly to be ready to take out of the canner. And then it's gonna cool off. And the paintbrushes are dry and in their container now, so I can finish cleaning that counter to uh you wanna come behind me so I can show it on the video? Go behind me. Behind me, honey. Not in front of me. Now, what are you doing? Oh, no. So I have to clean the one counter so that I can make soap. Scarlett is making puzzles and Nadia is just requesting lots and lots and lots of attention. Aren't you? She says, give me attention from the baby on the screen. That's you, honey. Scarlett has not brought her puzzle over here. You decide not to bring your puzzle? Yep. Okay. So, the paint brushes are drying and my sister has a little bit of chunk attached. And I brought my sister in. She has a cute shirt on. Yes, she does. And my sister does cute things. Uh... I do cute things too. Mm -hmm. So, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm working on getting things prepped to start making soap. Okay, so it is now Wednesday morning, and this is the soap that I made last night. That is um, coarsely ground, coarsely ground orange red orange peel. It's quite early in the morning for me. But this is the mold that I got from Custom Soaps, Custom Soap Stamps on Etsy. And the divider isn't perfectly leak proof, but it's good, good enough. Yeah, I'll probably be doing some sort of review on this on the YouTube channel, but yeah. That's it. That was the rest of my day yesterday. I went to bed and passed out pretty quickly after doing this. You eating your breakfast? Okay, go eat it. I went to look at that soup. Yeah? Okay, hang on a minute. I'm happy you make soup. Mm-hmm. Hey. Want to use this to crush it? To cut it? Yeah, I'll use that to cut it when it's ready to cut. It's not ready to cut yet. Yeah, it needs to dry. But it's good. Yeah. It's good to for your hair and hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it won't be ready for about six to eight, or four to six weeks. I'm noticing that it only gelled right there in the center, I think. I think. I guess I'll know more when I cut it open. Oh, I know. It will be beautiful when it's cutted. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to shut off the camera now. Anything else you want to say? Um. Well, how did you make the soap? This is not a tutorial. I'm not talking about how I made the soap. I'm too tired right now. Um, I need to have coffee or something.
Well, oh, my green. Why did you put these on the soup? Why did I put those on the soup? For decorative purposes and no other reason. Are you going to take them out? Mm. Well, they're stuck in the soup now. Okay, so you want to stick them out. Okay, I'm shutting off the camera. Any last words? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.